What's up, YouTube? Lightning Twenty Two Eighty Eight here with another video. Um, damn, man, guys, I have to tell you, um, been a lot of drama going around in the community. Poly, the Polygate, and uh, you know, people complaining about long videos and stuff like that. I just want to say, man, just we all collect comic, can we all just get along? And I just, I need to make. I don't know, man. I usually uh, try to stay out of this type of stuff, but I just recently watched. Uh, you know, I was watching all the poly bag mylar thing whatever i mean whatever floats your boat man i know i understand new clever mylar is expensive my suggestion to anybody if mylar is too expensive at least buy a, like a pack of like 50 for like 15 bucks and put your best books in them you know you don't have to put your whole collection you know poly's fine but like i said i wouldn't suggest I know there's there, there's examples like of people saying they've had their books and polys for 20, 30 years and nothing's ever happened, which is fine, you know, but I, I would suggest not chancing that. If you do use poly, just every maybe five to seven years, change them out because I'll tell you, before I got real back into heavy collecting, I had some long boxes of stuff that was in the same poly pie for 15 years and I pulled some of those books out. The boards were totally brown. Some of the books were just messed up so like i said if you can't afford a mylar your whole collection what i'm doing is i'm slowly i want a mylar my whole collection you know even the cheaper keys even just the filler books i just want my whole collection in mylar but it's it is expensive so like i said you know if if it's too expensive for you to do it like I, it's a slow process for me i'm slowly doing it but like i said if you don't want to feel like paying too much money for my like i said just buy a pack and whatever's your favorite book in your collection, the biggest keys, whatever, put them in there. Just give it a little bit more extra protection. Just be a little bit more careful. You know what I mean? Just better safe than sorry is what I say. And uh, uh, the toy I have in the background right now is the Mandarin Spawn. One of my favorite. I just love the McFarlane stuff. And you know what sucks is I had a, my wife had a friend come over with her kids a couple days ago. And they, I don't know if you guys have been familiar with my videos, I got all my toys in these like three bookshelves. I went upstairs and one of the kids took the, took, had this box out and they were trying to open it. So they damaged all the top boxes. So I was just so pissed off. I didn't talk, I mean, I, I literally, I just, I told my wife's friend and she's like, well, they're just kids. I said, yeah, but you need to tell them. I mean, she had let these kids run all through my house wrecking shit. But anyways, let's get over that. Um... The stuff in this video is going to be, uh, like I said, I got a Craigslist contact now. I've been hitting up a lot lately. This is going to be stuff that I didn't show in the last two previous videos. I'll show in this. And then some, I think some random stuff I picked up at Frank and Sons and maybe a couple eBay purchases. I'm not sure because, like I said, guys, a lot of these books I've had for a couple months. I just haven't had time to make videos. And, um... Yeah, and then in those two Craigslist hauls I had kind of pushed back everything. So a lot of these books I've had for a while. And let's get it started. And I want to talk about maybe a... I have nothing against, you know, really anybody in the community. But, you know, I, I need I need to speak on, like, We Love Comics, Chris. Uh, you know, um, here, let me just show the first book before I even get into it. The first book I picked up, this was from the Craig... Uh, these first batch of books, I think the first 15 to 16 books are going to be from that Craigslist guy. I, I didn't get a chance to see him this week. I, this is from the stuff I picked up from him last Monday, and he was out of town this weekend, so hopefully next weekend he's going to pull down a few more boxes I could go through and I could pick up some you know pretty cool shit for you guys. But one I was real excited to get, finally got this son of a bitch, uh, the uh, Treasury Edition or the Superman vs. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Been wanting it for a long time. Beautiful cover by Neil Adams. And having had a chance to read it, I went through it, and man, I didn't realize Superman gets his ass kicked in this uh, <laughs> this issue. But like I said, I re I've won it for so long, and it's weird because I've seen him at Frank's, Frank and Sons, always wanting 150 200 bucks. But I noticed on eBay, in this condition, you could probably pick it up for about 40 50 bucks. I actually had to pay, I paid 30 bucks for it, but like I said, I'm happy to finally have it, get it off my list. And uh, this, let me let me just give my take on uh, We Love Comics last video. I, I mean, that's a huge following. I understand a lot of people love his videos, and I understand that, and I just feel as if I've seen what was going on. Some people, I've had friends disagree with him or kind of point out something that he might have misled, and he takes real offense to that. 
And, I mean, I know his channel is all about promoting, you know, friendships and, you know, promoting each other and just being kind to each other. But that last video, I think he really came off like an asshole. I mean, I, I kind of feel bad for, like, Don because, I mean, he's basically calling Don a worthless piece of crap. And he called him white trash. I mean, called him a Nazi because he got a book with Nazi paraphernalia. I mean, I could pull out some Sergeant Fury books that have that, and I'm not no damn Nazi. Like I said, I think as a community, we need to learn how to get along. I mean, there's disagreements. I understand that. But when it starts getting into the name calling and shit, I, think, I just think that's chicken shit. I mean, on anybody, anybody. If I, if I make a video just starting to like, you know, just calling people asshole, you know, just being a little bitch and shit like that. I mean, that's, we just need to learn to get along, move past this damn mylar and polybag thing. It's you, however you want to collect. However you want to protect your books, that's fine. Like I said, I've seen Jimmy's hilarious spoof video. If you want to put it in a cereal box, you want to put it in Tupperware, that's, that's your collection. It's how you want to protect it. And, you know, another thing, and like I said, I'm not trying to attack We Love Comics. Like I said, he got a huge following. I might even get some backlash for this. But the stuff he said in his last video I thought was really wrong on his part. It didn't help the situation. And the good thing is Don and I, I believe Inside UFO didn't respond back to that. But like I said, and another thing, he's making comments about like, I got this many subs in half the time of what these guys have gotten. And I said, come on, man. We, we make YouTube comic book videos. We're regular people that collect books and make videos. I could care less if anybody said, I got friends on YouTube now. That was the point. I'm not making money off this. I'm just doing this for the fun of it. I like making the videos and sharing my books with you. Just like the same reason I like seeing you, what you guys pick up. Like I said, hopefully everything can move past this. And I'd like to apologize because this video is going to be long. I'm showing about 25 books. I know a lot of people tend to not like the long videos. I do. So if you just want, don't want to hear my commentating, just go ahead and forward. Oh, and one other thing before I just get on, like right after this, guys, I'm just going to start showing books. I want to shout out uh, Lords of the Long Box. He, I finally got on Instagram. He's a big time guy on Instagram. Huge guy. But he uh, his YouTube channel is Lord of the Long Boxes. If you haven't checked his uh, channel out, please check it out. I mean, his, his collection is great. His knowledge is awesome. But... I mean, opposed from the great, he shows great books, regardless, but my favorite thing about his channel is his commentating. He is a funny, hilarious guy. If you have a chance, definitely check him out. I really suggest it. Lord of the Long Box. I mean, he's already starting to blow up. Really funny guy. It's just, uh, yeah, he's just a great guy. But anyways, okay, all this stuff is uh, from Craigslist. The next 15, I believe, books. And this is one I suggest maybe uh, you guys might uh, look out for. This is my third copy. This is uh, Shazam number 25, first appearance of Isis. So I would suggest getting this. There's rumors that she's going to be in the Shazam movie. But not only that, if you check on eBay, I mean, literally six months ago, this was probably a $5 book. Recent stuff of this... Oh, God, I don't even make sense. Recent books have sold on eBay for... They could range from $35. I've seen some go for $75, and this is raw. I think this is a book you can still stealth buy. I actually bought this off my Craigslist guy. For some reason, this book was, he had it listed at 15. I already had two, but I know my boy James will make it shin one and one so I picked it up for him because he always hooks me up with books. So I picked this one up for him, so this is definitely going to be for James. The next book is, it was hot, but it's not worth nothing anymore again. This is New Mutants number one. It doesn't matter. This is my second copy. Like, if anything happens, you know, if anything comes out of this show or movie it's supposed to happen I'll, I'll definitely be flipping this book I'll just hold on to it like I said there's only a few bucks and you know I'm not gonna tell you price per book but the total of everything that I'm gonna show you with that Muhammad Ali Superman and the, these 15 books I paid approximately I believe altogether maybe 85 90 bucks and the one I was real excited to find and I'm surprised it took me so long to get it and it's a real nice high grade copy this is New Mutants Annual Number 2. This is the first U.S. appearance of Psylocke, and it's not a cheap book by any means right now. I would suggest if you definitely find it in the wild, cheap, definitely pick it up. I mean, currently I've been seeing them go for 50, 60 bucks raw in this grade. So, real happy to finally add this one to my collection. No, there's, in this video, there's not going to be a lot of super big, huge keys, but I think it's a lot of decent keys. 
to get me over until because I got I got a few big keys I'm planning on getting in the next few weeks. But I like I said, guys, I still after this haul, man, I still got like 80, 80 books that I haven't shown. I've just been super busy, and then not only that, man, I was just so proud. My my son started college today, so I've been kind of nervous about that. And everything's going good though now. I mean, I was going through a whole bunch of bullshit a few months ago, but yeah, everything's turned around, so I'm able to collect pretty frequently now. Um, picked up Avengers one twenty five. Um, just, I already have a copy, but it's pretty beat up, so this is more of an upgrade. Just always love that cover, love, and I love Thanos, so I was just real happy to get this book, and I know this book tends to go for around 15 to 20 on eBay, give or take, so like I said, anything to do with Thanos, definitely, uh, pick it up. And one I was real, real happy to find, let me get these out of the way, was... X Factor number five. This is the first cameo appearance of Apocalypse. And it's also, I mean, if anybody cares, I'll just say it anyways. First appearance of Stinger, Time Shadow, Tower, and Frenzy. So it has multiple first appearances, and it's the first cameo of Apoc Apocalypse, which is really, really, I mean, it calmed down for a while, but then it, 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 these, this book started heating up again. But I think in this grade, you could probably get one between 15 20 bucks. But then the one I was real excited to get, and this is a second copy as well. I just didn't feel like getting my original copies out. This is X-Factor number 6, first full appearance of Apocalypse. Now this book, in this grade, it's a high grade as well. Um, I could probably get right now between 50 to $65 if I throw it up on eBay. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to this bad boy and just see... Once the X-Men uh, trailer drops, you know, or once we get any more confirmation, we get closer to the release date of the movie, and so I'm going to see where the book goes from there, and maybe I'll flip it then. But like I said, real excited to find it. And I found all these three books in a row. Oh, this next one as well. Finally got this one. Did not have this one. I, X Factor 24. This is the origin and the first appearance of Archangel and the origin of Apocalypse. Real happy to finally get this. And it sucked because about... I say about a month ago, I was at Frank and Sons with Chris, and I passed. I was about to buy one at a vendor. He had it for fifteen bucks, and I was gonna buy another book. But Chris said this other vendor had a book I was interested in, so I left it and I went to go see if the other vendor still had the book that Chris was telling me about. And he just he sold it, so I came back, and this one was already sold by the time I came back. So I was kind of pissed off, but glad to find it in uh, my Craigslist contact. Real happy to finally get it out of the way. But like I said, guys, this book is it's heated up pretty well. I mean, it's, it's a, like I said, these are all pretty high-grade copies. This is, like I said, first Archangel, I think, right now. Looking to get it in, like, a high-grade raw on eBay, you're probably looking between $50 to $60. But, like I said, real happy to finally add this to my collection. You know what's funny? I swear to man, like, four years ago, five years ago, I used to find these books in the quarter bins, the dollar bins all the time. <laughs> I wish I was picking them up then, but, like I said, you can't tell the future. Finally got this one out the way. Like I said, nothing big, but I think all decent little keys, which I'm happy. This is a Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven. Always one I never had. I can't believe I never had it. This is the Death of Supergirl. Awesome cover by George Perez. Like I said, just an iconic cover. Just love that cover. Like I said, another high grade copy. And I don't know, maybe maybe I think this book is starting to heat it, get. Uh, God damn, I can't even talk. Heated up, heating up. Detective Comics 554. This is um, the Black Canary introduced where she introduces her new costume, and it's a cover so swipe of Flash Comics number 92. Like I said, I mean Black Canary is a pretty significant character, so like I said, it's. I mean, it's not expensive. I mean, but I've seen a, I, I have seen this book sell on eBay for about fifteen dollars. So definitely, if you find it, I think you know I believe you could probably find it for a couple bucks, two three bucks. It's still worth the pickup. And then Detective Comics number 524. And this is where I get confused with all the Killer Croc and shit, all, all his appearances. But I believe 524, this is the second appearance of Jason Todd and Killer Croc. Real happy to find this one as well. And it's a real nice copy. You can tell the black's black, no ticks on it, nothing. Real happy to have that one. Like I said, nothing big, guys. I mean, there's some decent stuff at the end of the video, but nothing like super huge. Detective Comics number 525. This is the third appearance, I believe, of Jason Todd and Killer Croc, and so I'm real happy to have this one. Just pick up, pick up all these books, and like I said, anyways, I'm working on a Batman run anyway, so it doesn't matter. Sorry, let me get these out of the way. 
and finally found these. I've been searching for these for a while. I can never find them in any shops or at Frank's or nowhere. Finally found them at my Craigslist contact. He had them. This is Flash number 323. I believe this is the, the beginning of the story arc of the death of Zoom. So like I said, real finally, finally happy to get this. And the one I was just super stoked to get. Really happy. And I wish I wouldn't have passed up on it a year ago. Because now it's going for a pretty decent price. But like I said, finally took my time. Finally was able to find it. This is a Flash 324, The Death of Zoom. Really cool book. And like I said, man, right now, I, this book goes for, on eBay, it, it, it ranges. It could go from 25 to like 35, 40 bucks. So like I said, real happy to finally get that one and get it for a fairly cheap price. And it's actually my second copy. And I already promised I'm hooking my boy Omega with uh, my double. So, like I said, happy to find this one. And then the last part of the story, I believe, is uh, 325. And, like, if you wanted the story arc, or if you wanted to buy them all on eBay, all three of them, I believe it's probably going to run you around 60 bucks. I and mean, that's what they're going for. So, like I said, real happy to finally get those. And, like I said, no big books, but no real corny stories. Oh, you know what? You know what's bugging me here? I'll tell you guys a story. It's not even comic related. Here, let me get this book out. This is Detective Comics 475. Finally, finally happy to get this one, man. I've been wanting this one for a while. It's the first part of the, you know, the Joker Fish storyline. Awesome. This is one of my favorite Batman covers by Marshall Rogers and Terry Austin. But, man, this book... And this is this is a high grade in the nines copy, so real happy to get that book because I think on eBay you're looking at, I mean raw, probably between fifty to seventy bucks. So real happy. It's an iconic storyline. Just and plus anything with a Joker on it just seems to go up. Oh, anyways, okay, let me tell you guys a quick story. This happened a while ago. I just never had a chance to say it. And I know it's not comic related, but this is my channel, my video. I like to tell stories, so that's what's going to happen. Um, check this out. Tell me what you guys think. I was helping my boy move. He's moving into an apartment complex. I got new furniture. I gave him my old furniture. So we used my truck to, you know, move his shit to his complex. So we go into the complex... He tells me to park in the spot, it's okay, whatever, you know, he already talked to the manager, and blah, whoop de whoop, whatever. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes after uh, we move up his stuff into his upstairs apartment, you know, we, ha we end up having a cigarette, and he goes, where's your truck? And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I look out the balcony, my truck's gone. I go running out the complex, down, my truck's being towed, I'm running down the street, and, uh, because my truck's being towed, finally get him to stop. And arguing with the son of a bitch, the manager was in on it. She knew I was there helping him move in, and she's the one that called to get my truck towed. And this sucked because this was around the time I was about to go to Frankenstein's, and it took a big chunk about of the money I was going to take. I had to, I had to have, I had to pay the tow truck driver, damn near two hundred bucks just to drop my truck. And you know damn well he pocketed that goddamn money. But like I said. My friend, I mean, I, I was cool with it, but I mean, I don't know. What would you guys do? You think he would be? He, he should be responsible for at least half of half of it, or what? Just let me know, guys. I don't know. I'm, it's not that big a deal. Right? It's, it's already happened, whatever, and I'm cool with it. But I'm not. What would you guys do? <laughs> but anyways, like I said, Joker Fish storyline, and the in the this book I picked up as well, and this one's for my boy James because this is a this is like my second or third copy. This is Isis number one. Just on her own, her own uh, issue. Like I said, she's getting hot. So, like I said, and these are type of books you could actually probably find in the wild fairly cheap. So definitely going to look out for this, but this one's for my boy James as well. And the one, the last book from my Craigslist I picked up, super stoked. Finally, finally happy to have it. And I guess I would consider this. This is a pretty big key right now. Shazam 28, not as big as it was maybe six, seven months ago. Shazam 28, I, I believe first appearance of Black Adam since the Golden Age, or it could be considered his first modern age appearance. Extremely hot book. It, I mean, when it first was announced about the Shazam movie, this book was going three, four hundred bucks. It's not as high as that anymore, but I think in this grade, if I wanted to sell it, I could probably, I, I could probably get 150, if not a little bit more, because it's a nice high grade and newsstand copy. But like I said, real happy to finally knock this one off the list.
super stoked. Like I said, all of those books I just showed you cost me, I forgot, I even told you, like 85, 90 bucks, something like that. So I was real happy with that purchase of all these books. Now, I believe the next three books were from Frank, and like I said, guys, I just split everything up. I got stacks of books I haven't shown, so I just kind of picked some out of, the, out of the pile just to show. But I think these next three books were Frank and Sons, and the last two were eBay. And this one's no big deal. It was hot a while ago, but it's not worth nothing now. And I didn't, I'm glad I didn't pick it up then because it was pretty expensive. But this is Iron Man number 12, first appearance of Controller, which I can't stand that cover. But anyways, nice nice mid, you know, probably like a 6.0 copy, but at, I only paid 10 bucks for it. And I, man, I remember when this was a hot book and there was no way in hell I'm glad I didn't uh, pay for it then. But real happy to have it now just to add to my collection. So, I mean, I got a good run of Iron Man going right now, so I might just work on a, an Iron Man run as well. Like I said, in my, in my next few videos, I'll show some filler Silver Age books that I'm working on and, you know, the runs I'm working on. One I was real happy to find, I found this son of a bitch for, uh, I believe, 15 bucks? It was some 10, 15 bucks. And I didn't think nothing of it at the time, but this is Justice League number 64, the first appearance of the Red Tornado. And I just love that cover. I just love the, the artwork on that cover. But someone told me that he was going to be in a movie or some shit. And I looked it up. This book is going crazy on eBay right now. So if you guys find this in the wild for a decent amount, you know, a decent price, definitely pick this one. This is worth the pick up right now. I don't know what's going to happen with it. But like I said, I got a huge Justice League run as well. I, I got like probably like 60, 70 issues of Justice League in the Silver Age. I just want to kind of complete that run the best I can. One that I'm just super stoked to have, and I suggest if you have a chance to get it, definitely pick it up. This is Justice League of America number four. Awesome, awesome cover. Love this book. This is the first, this is where Green Arrow joins the Justice League. To me, that's a major key for the Justice League. And especially with the Arrow show, Green Arrow being so popular. I'm not saying this book is cheap by any means, but I just think right now, in this grade, you're probably looking at probably like, oh, I can't even really tell you, man. There's not too many that's come up, and there's not too many that recently sold. The buy now is a retarded. But like I said, this is not a cheap book, but it's not super expensive, and but it is a pretty significant key. So if you have a chance to get this book, definitely get it. This is the, officially where Green Arrow joins the Justice League. And this this was from Frankenstein as well. Oh, and you know what? I think I paid, I'm sorry, I didn't say the price. I paid, I think it was like 20, 25 bucks. So real happy with that. And like I said, I think I paid 15 for that. And I can't remember what I paid for. I don't know if I even said it. It was like eight, 10 bucks. And I think that's shit too. So I was real happy with that. Okay, the last, last two books from eBay. This one I'm super stoked to have. Really happy. You know what? Let me get these books out of the way. Finally got this one. PGX. Like I said, not perfect grade, you know, but I'll, I'm satisfied. 8 for me, I'm fine with it. X-Men 100, finally got this book out of the damn way. Now all I need to complete my run is X-Men 94 because I've been picking up. I've, I've filled out the other little books I needed for that run. So if I get X-Men 94, I'll have 94 all the way to like 338. I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to start working down with it because I got like maybe... 30, 40 Silver Age X-Men books as well. So I would love to try to complete as much as I can of the X-Men run. I don't think I'll ever get an X-Men 1. Hell, I might not even ever get an X-Men 4 because those books are just outrageous. But super happy to get this one. This was an eBay purchase. It cost me... Um, I think it was 75 shipped. So I was real happy. I'm satisfied with that. And the last book... I'll just leave it there. Finally, ha finally happy to get it. took me a little while to get it. There's a big like crease going across the corner here, but I'm I didn't pay much for it. This is Action Comics 241. This is the first appearance of the Fortress of Solitude. A pretty big Superman key. And this is a hard book to find. They don't come up on me. I've never found this in the wild. I've never seen it in the wild. never seen it anywhere. On eBay, you pull it up, maybe five or six come up. Every once in a while, a lot of times they don't. They'll have like a postcard of it. They made a postcard of this comic cover. But like I said, Action Comics 241 to me, a big Superman key for any Superman fan. You guys should definitely pick this one up. First Fortress of Solitude. Like I said, guys, 
That'll do it for my video. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all the subs and comments. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, give Lord of the Long Box. Go over his channel. Check him out. And like I said, uh, Don, Inside UFO, we love comics. Hopefully you guys all move past this and, you know, no more hate videos and stuff like that. Like I said, guys, we just collect comics, man. We're regular dudes. There's no point. There's no reason to be fighting over comic books. Come on now. But like I said, let's all get along. Let's just make videos and let's all get along. Like I said, thanks once again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.